Photosensitivity warning. A small percentage of people may experience seizures when exposed to certain lights, patterns, or images, even with no history of epilepsy or seizures. Please review safety information in the software manual, also available at manuals.bethsoft.com. Viewer discretion is highly advised. Hello, I'm the Ballmeister. Welcome back to the Evil Within. Last time, we made it through Chapter 7 in the fight with the Boxhead. Demon, creature, thing, whatever. Could be some sort of metaphor for Sebastian's mental health. It, it may work, it might work, not. I don't know. But anyway, it's Chapter 8. Did we, f we didn't fall, did we? I hope we didn't fall. Didn't seem like we fell. It just seemed like that was a really long ladder down. Oh no. Looks like we jumped? Let me look up real quick. The planted seed will grow. We're instantly gonna grab that. Cause... Shit. Sorry. Language. Okay, I did drop. That was a big drop. Okay. How did I miss? Oh, it's because I have to hit that head. Okay. I think I'm set so far. I think. Don't quote me. Just say it. Grab that. Okay. Oh, definitely could use that. And all right, looks like there's no nothing else there. Don't want to go that way just yet. He's still glimmering. Oh! Hi, buddy! You have a very odd hitbox. Just saying. Torch you. Mark Ringu. Up to ten. Up to, up to ten thousand. That's a start. There's the ammo for that, so I can pick that back up again. Can I smash the barrels? I can't smash the barrels. Oh, some green goo in a barrel. Perfect. And I, yep, I think that's the only way I can, oh, barrel. I don't think there's anything in the barrel, but smash it. Just the same. Definitely can use a green goo. Always can use a green goo, to be honest with you folks. That works. In my favor. Okay, in line. Okay. Just make sure my light's still on. We're going up the cave here. Oh boy. Careful on my consumption here. Bolts. 
don't necessarily want to lose all my bolts now without making sure they're f nice and fully upgraded. Oh. Oh. Well, hello there. Goodbye there. Got a statue. Key. Those keys will get us some good. Some good things, whether it's more ammo, whether it's whole bunch of green goo. Alright, so... Oh, you look friendly. Yeah, we're just gonna torch you. I do not like this Sam I am. I do not. Like. Green eggs and ham. I think this is just an automatic thing. Fire, there we go. I should be fine if I hang out back here. Ow. Did I get hit? Next hits that rock. Go, go, go. Book it. Okay. Made it this far. Oh, that's a narrow. That's a gap, Sebastian. Can you squeeze? Suck it up. Okay, sorry. Making sure that I could read my notes so when I divide this up later, I can actually read. I can actually find it. Oh, sweet. Another checkpoint. Any goodies in here? Any monsters in here? Oh. Definitely something good in here. Or maybe not. I thought there'd be something to read. Aberrant brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self. But there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved. Like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Delicious. Okay, that's intriguing. And slightly disturbing at the same time. Alright, so we got that. We'll explore this little area. Before I go any further, for example, more handgun ammo. Whatever these things are. Squish. Squish, squish. Or at least. 
Well, there's more of these things. Get them all? I think I got them all. One more. Into the water we go. Into the water we go, into the water we go. Oh my, into the water we go, into the water we go. It's murky in here. Oh, green goo, and some more handgun ammo. Hand, hand gun, not hand gum. Okay. So nothing's over here. Hey, look at you. Ha! Goes the weasel. Alright, so now we got two keys. That's handy. And I'll wade myself back over here, grab one piece of ammo, just because I can. There we go. But that means I'm down to. Oh, no, I do have just two inches. I only thought I had one syringe. Which is good. I'd rather have, you know, two syringes than not. Just be safe from sorry I'd get a little healed up. Do I jump over that? Do I kick it? Do I what do I gotta do here? Nope. Sure enough. Things are kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Oh, hi! Fire! There! Ha ha ha! Drop it like it's hot. I think that think that trophy is torturing or torching two enemies in one go if I if memory serves me right here these suckers are kind of creepy I'm not really gonna lie to you here I mean let's just keep going up to another narrow passageway. It's another checkpoint. Oh, that's not pretty. To be fair, I also thought that was somebody standing there, so. What else do you do? Some parts we desperately, desperately needed. Come over here. Nothing over here. Okay. Smash grabs. Smashy, smashy. I mean, I'm excuse me, I'm getting a lot of green goo, so it's not like I'm hurting, I'll be hurting for upgrades. <laughs> I just, you know, have to be careful on what did I upgrade. Excuse me. Because I don't think I get another upgrade until I, the next chapter? Poor soul. Hi. Right. Cave note! I went in too deep, and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times, but it was only a little further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed, noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. This door has to lead outside. 
This plate I found looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but which way does it go? 50-50 odds. And I've been here pacing for what feels like an eternity, unable to make the simple choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you were right, and I'll never let you go. And I don't think you made it out of there. Oh, what's this? It's the relief plate. The strange face has fa strange plate has faces carved into into each either there, either side of it. One side has blood streaked onto it. Well, that's good to know. I'm gonna assume it's the side of the one with the blood. So that's it. Haha, <laughs> I'm not dead. I mean, the dude had a 50 50 shot, and he guessed, you know, he 50 50 wrong. I mean, I, I do feel sorry for the guy, because that wasn't. That did not have to be a very pleasant feeling. I mean, I'm sure he. So I don't remember if he was impaled through the head. Head. No. Don't. Stop. Oh, great. Now I'm in a hallway. Now where am I? Is there anything in here? Of course there's something in here. It's a map fragment. Piece I need. Alright, now I can go forward. Through the maze of wheelchairs. I don't like this music. This music kind of scares me. Guess there's only one way to go. Dog, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. <sighs> he... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. That's not ominous it's at all. Unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Hi! Well, I didn't say this perfect. Especially not with such a... unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. I mean... Not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but I'd say he wants us dead. And it's the brain again. We've seen that before. Doctor? The machine's gone. The doctor's gone. Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, June 16th, 2009. We dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Myra, God bless her, has had a tough three years. Raising a baby is a full-time job, and she finally she's finally going to get the break she deserves. By break, I mean coming back to the KCPD Missing Persons Unit, Bureau. 
The amount of disappearances here seem to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be missing. I exaggerate, of course. But there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped, and Myra will help to see to that. She's damn good at her job and obviously happy to be back in her element. Okay. Nope, can't smash the cardboard. Anything else in here that I can't explore? What's that? Well, that might have been the gurney I walked past. I guess I'd go through the doorway? The doorway just came through? Looks like it. Looks like the only way I can go. Maybe this wasn't the door I came through. Oh, hey, if this doesn't look familiar! What the? What this? Go! Go smash and go! Go smash and go! Wow! Don't wait! Smash and just. Door! Just run! Just run, just run, just run! Just run, just run, just run, just run! Hi, darling! Just run, just run! Cutscene! Hey, this looks familiar! Except I'm not safe! It's for Vic. And just like that, we're done with the chapter. Chapter 8 complete. That's going to be the end of the episode as soon as I save. Let me save. Thank you. So next episode, we are going to start Chapter 9. The Cruelest Intentions. And until then, I'm the Bellmeister, and as always... I have been obediently yours.